let's have a look at the rest of the day's stories for you now. And over 120 people have been arrested during climate change protests in London. Extinction Rebellion blocked five central locations in the capital yesterday, demanding the government declares a climate emergency. Five of those arrested were held on suspicion of criminal damage after protesters smashed glass and painted graffiti at Shell's headquarters. Well, Sky's Helen Ann Smith uh, is out and about in central London for us. Let's have a conversation with her now. Uh, it looks very busy where you are. What's happening there, Helen? Yeah, it is busy. The protest busy. The protests this morning were actually quite quiet in a way. It felt almost like a festival. Uh, tents for kids to do artwork, music. Uh, but in the last hour, things have changed, really. I'm just going to get out of the way so you can have a look. Uh, the police moved in and started arresting people. Uh, they've been gradually arresting people one by one um, over the last hour or so. And if we just move in a little bit closer, you can see uh, that the protesters are chanting, singing, making noise. The police coming in, trying to talk people uh, out of uh, being arrested. They want people to move their demonstration to Marble Arch, which is the legitimate uh, agreed protest point when they're refusing to do that they're being arrested as you can see here in a way uh, being arrested is part of the strategy uh, of the protesters here they're describing their action as non-violent civil disobedience and by that they mean that the familiar ordinary protests pre-agreed marches signing petitions they say that's not working that the government are not paying enough attention to them they are not taking enough action on climate change. Uh, it's worth saying the police moving in because of the huge disruption this is causing. Uh, they've said around 55,000 people across the capital affected by these protests. The protesters themselves are saying it's, it's, it's small fry compared to the massive crisis that is climate change. They say they will not move, they will continue to protest, they will continue to camp out even if that takes weeks. Uh, Helen, do we know what their demands are? Yeah, the demands are threefold. They're saying, number one, they want the government to be what they say, what they're calling honest um, about climate change. They want uh, CO2 emissions to be cut completely to zero uh, by 2025, a very ambitious target. And they want all of this to be overseen by what they're calling um, a citizens' assembly to essentially depoliticize the protest. They say that's really important because governments of all colors um, have other considerations and that citizens should be the ones to oversee uh, what they're saying is a dramatic catastrophe that's hitting our planet. They say we need to keep global warming crucially below that benchmark of two degrees warming. That's the, the benchmark above which scientists say the effects on our planet will be catastrophic. And Helen, now when you talk to these protesters, do you get the feeling that they think they're getting their message across and do they believe that they've got the country with them? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, I'm just going to turn you around again to see some of the, this is the party atmosphere that I'm talking about. And yeah, everyone I've spoke to here today says that, you know, commuters as they've been cycling past uh, this morning, waving, cheering, saying thank you. Every time anybody gets arrested, the crowd erupt into cheers There's, they, and calling out thank you so much for what you're doing for us. Um, people here very much believing they have the public with them, uh, speaking to some commuters uh, through windows of their sort of stationary cars. The, the message was mixed, I'd say. Some happy, some saying it's a bit frustrating. Uh, but broadly, people here believe uh, there's a bigger goal. OK, we'll leave it there for now, though. Thank you very much. Helen Ann Smith uh, reporting in central London for us.